Hey everybody, welcome to another episode on the AI Guide where we focus on the human impact of AI. That is the focus here, not just news. So, on that front, let's hear what Stanford HAI, human-centered AI, has to say is coming in 2024 that will impact all of us. So they asked seven of their leading researchers to say what they think is going to be the biggest impact this coming year in 2024, today being December 31st, and a Happy New Year to everybody. This past year marked major advances in generative AI. Companies sank major investment into AI startups, while leading AI researchers and CEOs debated AGI's likelihood. Meanwhile, policymakers started getting serious about AI regulation, particularly in the EU. Have we reached peak AI? No, say several Stanford scholars, and I would have been shocked if they said yes. Expect bigger and multimodal models, exciting new capabilities, and more conversations about how we want to use and regulate this technology. So, human impact, white collar word shifts. This is Professor Eric Brynjolfsson at Stanford. I expect mass adoption by companies that will start delivering some of the productivity benefits that we've been hoping for for a long time. It's going to affect knowledge workers, people who have largely been spared by a lot of the computer revolution that happened in the last 30 years. Creative workers, lawyers, finance professors, and more are going to see their jobs change quite a bit this year. It's mostly going to be augmenting and extending what we do as opposed to replacing. And for 2024, I agree with that. Uh, the next professor, James Landay, deep fake proliferation. I expect to see big new multimodal models, particularly in video generation. Therefore, we'll also have to be more vigilant to serious deep fakes. We'll see the spread of videos in which people say things that they never said. Consumers need to be aware of that. Voters need to be aware of that. We're also going to see legislation. It will come very soon in 2024 regulation. For the U.S., we're probably not going to see major regulation, which I agree with. <laughs> We will see more startups and other companies like OpenAI releasing the next larger models and we'll see new capabilities. We'll still see a lot of controversies of is this AGI and what is AGI? I think people shouldn't be worried about AI taking over the world. This is all hype. Agree to disagree there. Next professor, Russ Altman. I'm worried about a global shortage of availability of GPU processors. Big companies and more of them are all trying to bring AI capabilities in-house, and there is a bit of a run on GPUs. This will create a huge pressure not only for increased GPU production, but for innovators to come up with hardware solutions that are cheaper and easier to make and use. There is a lot of work in electrical engineering at Stanford and other places on low power alternatives to current GPUs which are very high power bound. In other words, they consume a ton of electricity. Next up, Professor Peter Norvig. I'm looking for two things. One of them is the rise of agents and being able to connect to other services to actually get things done. I'm looking for that too. I think this is the huge coming revolution that leads to Jarvis. In 2024, we'll see the ability for agents to get stuff done for you, make reservations, plan a trip, connect to other services. We've seen so far a big focus on language models and then image models. At some point, we're going to have enough processing power to do videos as well. This will be a game changer, he says. There are cameras that are on 24-7 capturing what happens just as it happens without filtering, without any intentionality, unlike the programming of language models and image generators that were programmed with existing materials, not brand new stuff happening live in real time. AI models haven't had that kind of data before. Those models will just have a better understanding of everything. 
Next up, Fei-Fei Li, another professor. All AI policy will be worth watching in 2024. In July 2023, Congress introduced the bipartisan bicameral Create AI Act to give students and researchers access to AI resources, data, and tools. Then in late October, President Biden signed an executive order on the safe, secure, and trustworthy development and use of AI that demonstrates commitment to a vibrant AI ecosystem, but also governing the technology. I hope in 2024, we see Congress act. That's Professor Fei-Fei Li. Next up, Guy Wang, and I'm mispronouncing some of these names. One of my hopes for 2024 is that we can have the wherewithal to continue to ask the hard questions, the critical questions about what we want from AI in our lives, our communities, and education and society. More and more kinds of this generative AI technology are going to embed themselves and entrench into our work, play, and communication. How does this year make us feel about ourselves? Very forward-looking question, in my opinion. I think we need to give ourselves the time and space to articulate what we think is permissible and where we should put the limits. One of the first realizations regarding this current generation of AI was back in February 2023, when academic journal publisher Springer Publishing issued a statement in which they said that LLMs can be used to draft articles but will not be permitted as a co-author of any publication. And the rationale they cited, I think, is so important. It's accountability. And that's the huge question over AI today, accountability. And last, Professor Jennifer King, much of the focus on AI regulation in 2023 was on the AI Act across the pond in the EU. However, in mid-2024, two U.S. states California and Colorado, followed by others shortly, will have adopted regulations addressing automated decision-making in the context of consumer privacy. While these regulations are limited to AI systems that are trained on or collect individuals' personal information, both offer consumers the right to opt out of the use of AI systems that have significant impacts, such as in hiring or insurance. So lots of questions about AI, huge advancements coming in 2024, courtesy of the next gen of LLMs and these multimodal models, and finally the need for real regulation. So thanks to the Stanford Center for Human-Centered AI. Thanks so much. Take care. Please like, subscribe, and share. That's how you can support the channel at this point. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.